Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. We are all about the food on our channel. We do grocery hauls, taste tests, recipes, and what's for dinner. And today I am here to do a recipe for rice and peas. So a while back ago on one of our what's for dinner videos, I had this as a side dish and several people commented and asked if I would share the recipe. So my husband is from Jamaica and his mother used to make rice and peas. And um, so I created this version. It's a shortcut version. It's not, you know, the traditional way that rice and peas are made, but he really enjoys this version too. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. It just calls for a few simple ingredients that you probably already have on hand. So you are going to need two cups of rice. Now I have a personal preference for jasmine rice and so that's what I'm using. You're also going to need some chicken bouillon, some smoked paprika, some garlic cloves. You're going to need some small kidney beans, chicken broth, and coconut milk. And I will leave the recipe in the description so you'll have the exact measurements. So what I'm going to do first is to um, saute the garlic cloves and the raw rice in about a fourth of a cup of vegetable oil. And in the meantime, I'm going to completely rinse and drain the kidney beans. And then I'll come back and show you guys next steps. Okay, so I have been sauteing two cups of the jasmine rice along with the garlic in a quarter cup of um, grapeseed oil. And you're supposed to saute it until um, it's brown. So I have been cooking mine on a medium heat for probably about maybe eight minutes. And as you can see, it has a really um, good color. So the next thing that you are going to do is to add in your two cups of chicken broth and one can of chicken broth. equals two cups. So this is a 14 and a half ounce um, can of chicken broth. So you pour that in there and then you're going to add in your coconut milk. And this is organic full fat coconut milk. So it is going to be thicker than a like a, a light coconut milk. So I'm just going to pour that in there. You can see it's a little chunky because it's a full fat coconut milk. So I've poured that in there. And then, let me turn up the heat a little bit. So now it's on a medium, maybe a little medium high heat. So I'm just gonna stir in the coconut milk a little bit just to kind of break it down. And it smells so good. Okay. Then you're going to add in your smoked paprika and your chicken bouillon. And just kind of try to stir this up for a little bit. And now I'm adding in the um, can of the petite kidney beans and they are, they've been completely rinsed and drained. So just gonna pour those in there. I just noticed I missed a little paprika. I guess the uh, heat from the pan kind of had it, made it stick a little bit. There it is. All right. So now all I'm going to do is cover this up. So I'm going to um, cook this for probably about 15, 20 minutes. I'll come back and check and see if it's cooked and then I'll show you the finished product. Okay guys, so here is the finished product. I cooked it for, I think it was about 18 minutes. And halfway through, I um, stirred up the ingredients in the skillet and then I recovered it and continued cooking it. Um, as you can see, it makes a lot and it's really light and fluffy. You can probably see the steam. I just turned off the fire. 
Um, there it is. But it is really good. It has a wonderful flavor. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, I hope that you'll do so. And I'll see you guys next time.